Oh, hey. How's it going? I wanted to do a video today, for once. It's a rare occasion. And you see, I was uh, trying to get SDL2 set up on Sea Lion and found it to be uh, way more complicated than I thought. Well, let's just, let's just say I had a hard time with it. It's not actually that hard. Well, I'm going to make the video that I wished I would have found when I very first started trying to install SDL2 and have it ready for C-Line with CMake and the MinGW compiler. Yeah, because it would have saved me like three days of pain. First of all, you're going to need the good old C-Line. And uh, yeah, you can go get that and install it on your own. I'm not going to walk you through that part of it. And if you're a student, you can get the you can get the full version for free. We got C line. I launched it here. Um, I'm just gonna. I guess I'll it'll go through it one step at a time. We'll do a new C plus plus executable. We're gonna name it. Uh, I don't know. Big Mama. <laughs> just anything, you know. Big Mama's good. It's better than just project when you meet Big Mama. That's easier. All right. Hello world <laughs> well first thing you notice here is tool chains are not configured configure okay we're going to set up the tool chain with uh, th this compiler not the visual studio one did you go to file uh, i think it's settings and then build execution and deployment tool chains hit the good old plus button and it looks like it already finds mingw However, it doesn't seem to find it uh, that well. I really have this installed already? Let me look at my drive. Here, so I'm just going to reset it up with the latest and greatest, and I'll show you that whole thing. MinGW. I don't know if people have like a way of saying it, like Mingua. Mingua. Let's get Mingua. Mingua. Okay, I guess I'm just going to use the installer. I didn't do this on my other machine that I tested this with, but it should work about the same. Okay. I think I unzipped it somewhere. Okay, so we got it. We're going to put it on the C drive. That's great. That's. I mean, you can put it somewhere else if you want, but uh, you don't have to. Look, it has all these extra options. Also support graphical interface, uh, just me, <laughs> all users. Okay. We'll just leave all that default. That looks fine. So I had to do its thing. Remember, we're going to go for uh, SDL2. We want to get SDL running. That's simple direct media layer. That's our goal. That's uh, this thing. So we can make make it in games. Also going to be using a bit of the lazy foo code just to show you kind of it running. So big shout out to the lazy foo guy. I mean, this guy has helped me tremendously, and I'm sure a lot of other people. Tremendous. It's been a tremendous great thing for coders everywhere so it's just a tremendous advancement for the interwebs and if you could show him some support it'd be a tremendous thing and uh, I don't know why I'm saying tremendous I guess I'm trying to mock Trump tremendous this is the installer thingy okay so I marked them all now what update catalog okay you Okay, let's let's do it. This might take a while. So there might be a cut right about here. Go on, download, hurry up. Okay, so that's finally done. Good job. Good job. Alright. Next step. Now we can configure this puppy. And it's gonna try to auto do it for us. But we're just gonna say uh, okay. Oh, wait, it already found it. C. Okay, so that's where it installed. Looks like uh, C Lion just like noticed it. It's probably smart enough to check there. And it looks good. It's got some check marks. Uh, yeah, I did this on my other one too, but it seemed to work fine. The whole detecting thing. So let's just give it a try. Let's see if we can compile with that. So, a little basic program with the CL, the one it started with, that stuff. And as soon as we get a chance, we're going to hit play and make sure it compiles and runs. And then after that, we're going to add SDL2 to it and see if we can get a window to pop up and, you know, get it basically started. So looks like it finished okay. Ooh, that was weird. Yeah. Well, it, it, just so you know, I'm not absolutely mad. I'm going to hit this play button up here. 
and we'll see what happens. Scanning, thinking, hello, Big Mama, we got it. Okay, so the basic compiler is working. That's that's a big step. But now we want to add the SDL code to it. Um, I'm just going to copy and paste some from LazyFoo. So we're going to include SDL.h. As you can see, it's all it's all red. It's like I don't know what that is. I'll go ahead and, and do standard I/O as well because he has some printf stuff. We're going to declare our screen sizes. This is just the stuff from that tutorial. Uh, once it once again, whoa! It's when I when I drag it over here, the header bar disappears. That's weird. Okay, there it is. But yeah, that's that's the site if you want to follow along or learn more. Well, anyway, you'll see that. Okay, so this is red. It doesn't see it sometimes you have to say it's in the SDL folder and that does it but it doesn't seem to be there so it didn't come with it it's gonna say I'm IR confused don't know what this is so confused confused uh, so basically what we need to do is we need to add the SDL stuff in. let's go ahead and do that let's just go ahead and and get SDL so that it finds it I'll show you how to do that this is the part that I was stuck on for way too long Confused. Well, I actually didn't find a guide that ultimately showed me how to do this. That's why I decided to make a video. The way I figured it out was trial and error. I'm going to eliminate that whole trial and error thing for you, and you can give me an upvote. So sound good? Sound good. Are you cool? Or are you cool? All right. So we want SDL. Now SDL has a bunch of different pieces, but I'm just I just want to get the core piece working to start. Just the basic SDL library because there's also SDL mixer, SDL fonts, true type fonts, SDL image, and they're all this you, you do them all the same way. So I'm just going to show you the first one. If you want to go get more, you can later. Um, okay, so you want to go to livesdl.org, click on the little download, and we did the Ming GW Mingwa uh, thingamajigger. So I'm going to click on that. It's a tar file, so of course it's nice and zipped up and we're going to download it, unzip it as soon as it opens. So yeah, open that compressed thing and here we go. So yeah, you want these folders to like pile into each other. So if you drag it in, it should dump into there. Yeah, okay. So you got to be at the root and you want to be in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that with the rest, all three at once, let it pile in. Okay, and now what magically happens when we suddenly go back to C Lion, it should, upon a refresh, start to notice this. Now, uh, notice that folder was named SDL2, not SDL. So I think we're going to have to put the 2 for it to find it because it doesn't magically know. But if, for example, we went in and renamed that SDL2 to SDL, SDL would be enough. Another thing we could do if you don't want to preface this with SDL2 is you can take all of these and you can put them back on this level but I'm not gonna do that because I want to keep it nice and concise and in its own folder let's make sure it actually compiles and is okay with that uh, oh god uh, win main 16 blah, 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 blah. Huh. how did I fix this last time I think uh, I think I had to add the linker command okay so you do have to go to your CMake list.txt, the main one that's in the root of your project, and you have to add in all the stuff that tells it you're using SDL2. Otherwise the compiler will be like, I don't know how to link it. I are not s smart enough. Now, this here is super handy. I'm going to go ahead and download it, so I'm going to go to raw, and then hit control S, and I'm going to go ahead and save it. I guess my downloads is fine to start. We'll do a show and folder. There it is. I'm going to do a cut. Um, now I want it to go here, so I'm going to show and explore the CMake file. Paste it in there, and there it is. So this file is. Oh god, you can't see it in that text mode because it doesn't wrap. Um, let's see if I open it with Visual Studio Code, though. Kind of see what it is. Basically, it's a predefined library that like checks everywhere SDL could possibly be and includes it correctly. So. It, it comes in handy, it makes it a little simpler. You don't have to use it, but it makes it a little simpler. So now with that set, this find SDL2 should work. Let's cr cross the fingers, let's do this. So reload our CMake changes. 
hit the play button. We're still, we're mainly having this win. What is this error? I forget. I had this on my other one too. I fixed it, and I don't, for the life of me, remember what it was. I think it's just the linker. What? Uh, we're going to figure it out. We're going to change the world with this video. C++ programmers everywhere. Alright, we're going to paste in more code. And we're going to keep cringing. Control Alt. Or, yeah, Control L auto formats. That's, that's very nice. Undefined reference. Okay, so it doesn't know where it doesn't know where all the SDL stuff is, is what it comes down to. This this should take care of it. It takes care of it on my other one. Why doesn't it take care of it on this one? Let's just try everything in the book. I said to do all this stuff. Okay, fine. Fine. You you wanna you wanna play that way? Why did I have to do that on my other one? That's exactly the same. No idea. Whoa. Well, that's how you do it. Good luck. Have fun. And uh, don't be a programmer unless, I don't know, you're a masochist. Peace out.